Gold Coast resident Karen has never been camping before, but she's now planning to make this tent her new home. We're trying to be really positive, or else you just get, it becomes overwhelming. The 65-year-old, her partner and dog have to move out of their current rental by the end of the month. They're struggling to find another they can afford as the coast faces record low vacancies rates. We have a senior dog and that's just almost a no-no. Nobody wants to know the dog, no apartments, the houses are way out of our price range. It's stories like these that have forced the state government to host a housing summit in Brisbane. Nothing keeps me awake at night more than the knowledge that some Queenslanders are suffering, not able to lead fulfilling and productive and safe lives. Politicians, planners, social justice advocates, property executives and church groups joined under the one roof to try to find ways to tackle housing pressures that have been building for years. We need place-based solutions and we also need crisis accommodation. We need to deliver more townhouses, more small lot housing. So whether there's property that's empty that can be brought into the market. We're wanting to um, have more collaboration, more engagement and you know, around Indigenous housing. After months of calls for greater investment, the government has announced it will double its housing investment fund, with the returns being used to build thousands more social and affordable homes in the next five years. The government needs to be seen to be taking meaningful action on housing, and an increase in revenue like GST and stamp duty has made it possible. And no magic silver bullet to fix the housing issues in Queensland. We all need to make sure that everything that has been put on the table can deliver as quickly as it can. For renters like Karen who face homelessness, help is needed now. Governments have a lot of summits, they do a lot of talking and we've heard it year in year out. I, I don't know what they can do. Kate McKenna, ABC News, Brisbane.